Just as a woman, period. How can you be a champion for women's rights when you're taking away opportunities from biological women and giving them to transgendered ones? I'll wait, y'all, because I wasn't done. See, how can you promote equity for women and you're allowing men to play in women's sports? Oh man, say it ain't so, Michaela, Michaela, Michaela. Listen, we got Michaela Montgomery accusing Kamala Harris of harming the black community. And she also defends Trump at the NABJ. We all saw that interview right there, huh? Felt like he was attacked by a bunch of feminists on stage. They were into their feelings and they were very, very, very biased. As a journalist, you cannot be biased. Therefore, you were not a journalist at this point. You're just representing one side. Might as well join a team. This right here, she about to go in. She's like a firecracker. She brought a bag full of fireworks and she is about to explode sit back and react with your boy don't forget if you like reactions like this consider hitting that like button definitely subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell i'm so happy you all came out to see me so <laughs> my name is michaela montgomery a lot of you guys know me as the girl from chick-fil-a but i am so much more than that okay 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 <laughs> Not only do I serve as the CEO of Conserve the Culture, I am also the state director for Blexit down here in Georgia. I'm a Fulton County coordinator for America First Works, and I'm also launching a podcast on the Patriots Prayer Network. So put mm. some respect on my name. Put some respect on my name. You understand me? When y'all saying my name, put some respect on it. Okay, put some respect on her name. Now, notice one thing. I want you to notice one thing real quick. You hear her accent, right? <laughs> now, you heard the accent that Kamala had not too long ago. And you all helped us win in 2020, and we're going to do it again in 2024. Huh? Trying to sound like she's from the South. Instead, she's trying to sound like she's from the country part of the South. <laughs> Miss me with that right there. To it see as a young single mother i can tell y'all that rent is too damn high too I, damn high i can tell you that as a young black voter groceries are too damn high too damn high baby and as an american citizen period seniors like my parents should never have to choose between medicine or food it should never be the quality of life versus the quantity of life hmm. And I don't want to hear, oh, but we capped the price of insulin and lowered the price of all these medicines. Yeah, but you raised the price of everything else, so it's about time to start telling the truth to Americans and let them know exactly what they're signing up for if they want to vote for Kamala Harris. Mm. <laughs> You're fired. We need to vote based on facts and not feelings. See, under Harris and Biden, the average Georgia household is losing $1,060 per month, and inflation is at 21.4%. And due to the war on energy, average gas prices have reached record highs for the state. We also did a poll, and 80% of us black Americans are not happy with the current state of the economy, so I'm going to need 80% of y'all to vote accordingly in November. They love me. They love me. They really love me. Imagine she debate Kamala. Oh, man, it would be. Uh, she got a lot to say right now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looked like Michaela came through with some facts. You understand? So she's talking that talk. Imagine in a world where she debates Kamala. I don't think Kamala would be ready for this right here. You understand why? Because a woman debating a woman is just, it's just all fair right there. You understand? Now, a man debating a woman, it could go left real fast. You know, he could come across as you know, chauvinist. Or how would they call it nowadays? What's that word right there? Male masculinity, huh? toxic masculinity you know we all know that phrase right there but i'm just saying right now i just feel that a woman versus a woman is what really would make more sense you understand the left wants you to get in your feelings about things that have been said but i want you guys to pay attention to what has been done they don't want to talk policy they just want to use propaganda to steal your vote the left is trying to tout this woman as a savior for the black community, but all she's done is hurt the black community since she came into the game. Mm. See, the 
first step in destroying the black community is to dismantle the black family. So aside from her record as a prosecutor, hmm. why don't we ask Mrs. Willie Brown if Kamala Harris cares about black families? Ooh. Shots fired? I think I see shots fired right now. She coming through with them facts. Oh. I don't know, the Democrats may not like this right here. Hey, like I said before, I'm not a politician. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a senator. One thing for sure is this, right? I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat. I just stick to the facts, all right? So make sure you're not in your feelings. Remember, don't vote based on race agenda, based on policies. Do the policies match? Do they make sense of what's going on right now, huh? This is the way you have to vote. Not by what they like to wear, what they like to eat, what music they listen to. Pay attention to what's going on right now. I wonder if Mrs. Willie Brown, a black woman, is also with her. A few days ago, President Trump said he didn't know Vice President Harris was a black woman. I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't because she was Indian all the way. And then all of a sudden she made a turn and she went, she became a black person. Just to be clear, sir, do and you I believe think, that I think she I'm trying to figure out what all the outrage is about because she's only black when it's time to get elected. Mm. More shots fired. Did I lie? <laughs> the same black people who are mad at Trump for being confused about her race, ethnicity, nationality, whatever, are seemingly forgetting that while you're touting her as a savior for black people, she identifies as an Asian woman. She chose her side and it wasn't ours. When asked if she would ever do anything specifically for black people, she said no. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. Whereas Trump gave us the platinum plan, <laughs> which specifically uplifted the black community by increasing capital by almost $500 billion, creating 500,000 new black businesses, and would give black churches the ability to fight for federal resources for their communities. Well, we all know this is a Christian country, huh? He's looking out for the churches, man. Once the churches turn their back on you, hey, they're forced not to be reckoned with. I'm just telling you that when it comes to politics, they always use religion, race, and gender. Those are the big three right there. And why are we acting like strong borders aren't a thing literally everywhere else in the world? Since when has being patriotic been a crime? See, a few weeks ago at the debate, Trump mentioned black jobs, and a lot of people got in an uproar as if they didn't know what he meant. Well, we go to the polls and cast our black vote. We go to the stores and spend our black dollar. We live in our black community, but for whatever reason, we draw the line at a black job. Oh, but wait, because if you're wondering what a black job is, please, I encourage you all to drive through Atlanta at all these beautiful black owned businesses and check and see who works there. Probably a black person working for a black entrepreneur, recycling the black dollar, creating black generational wealth. <laughs> she remixed that a little if bit. They come here they're taking your jobs and your resources, then please believe my cousins in the Appalachians, they coming for you too. And y'all know Kamala Harris has yet to say Lake and Riley's name. As borders are, she opened the border to millions of illegal immigrants that have flooded American streets with deadly drugs and gangs that have spiked overdoses by over 124% and brought more crime into commu uh, excuse me, minority communities. Listen, Michaela came through with the fireworks, you understand? She's like a firecracker right now. I don't think you want problems with her. She's coming through with her facts. You could tell she does her own due diligence and she know what she's talking about, all right? Hey. I think we got a problem, Houston, we got a problem. So how's that for black folks? But let's take race out of it. Just as a woman, period. How can you be a champion for women's rights when you're taking away opportunities from biological women and giving them to transgendered ones? Mm. Shots fired. All right, let's get this show started. You women should be ashamed over here pandering to all the nonsense that's going around, floating around in the media. Y'all the ones who allowed this to happen right here. Y'all was supposed to been have a problem with this, but instead, y'all stood to the side, and now look at y'all. Huh? 
Not everyone, but most of y'all. Shame, shame on y'all. I'll wait, y'all, because I wasn't done. See, how can you promote equity for women and you're allowing men to play in women's sports? Mm. Mm. And what kind of feminist would still allow men to enter their sacred spaces, i.e. our bathrooms and school locker rooms? Mm. Do I even need to mention the opening ceremony at the Olympics? Whoa, nasty work. Nasty work. Or the fact work. that Angela Carini was forced to fight a man and told <clears throat> us that she's never been punched so hard in her life. We cannot allow dangerous liberals who think things like this are okay into the White House because my daughter will not be fighting a man at her wrestling match. Hmm. I hear that. And what I think both men and women can agree on is that national security is important. So who would y'all rather see lead us into war if it were so to happen? <laughs> Definitely not Kamala. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Is it Kamala? Kamala? I mean, how is it pronounced? We don't even know what she's capable of. How? <laughs> Imagine that right there. That's a nightmare on all our streets. Lead us into war if it were so to happen. <laughs> My silk press sister Kamala or the big dog Donald Trump. <laughs> and lastly, I cannot get up here without mentioning my farmers, the backbone of this country. And aside from the Biden-Harris administration hurting you guys in ways we can't even comprehend by the rising cry, uh, cost of everything, black farmers suffered even more due to the delays associated with the Inflation Reduction Act signed in 2022. Now, don't let the Biden-Harris administration fool you because they waited until the ninth hour to, dis uh, to sign off on disbursements as a last-minute attempt to garner support. <laughs> But why would they hurt the agricultural industry? Probably because they're looking forward to making more money in the pharmaceutical one. Ooh. And speaking of pharmaceuticals, because I promise I'm gonna wrap this up. When they bring up abortion and they talk about protecting your medical freedoms, don't be afraid to mention COVID. The Biden-Harris administration forced Americans to take an experimental vaccine and took away their jobs, their livelihoods, and their freedoms if they refused. If the Trump administration approves before or after the election, should Americans take it and would you take it? If the public health professionals, if Dr. Fauci, if the doctors tell us that we should take it, I'll be the first in line to take it, absolutely. But if Donald Trump tells us I should that we should take it, I'm not taking it. Yeah, so when they sit here and they talk about, when they talk about Roe versus Wade, uh, if you ask me, that's a whole bunch of nonsense. I see how they do it. They really know how to manipulate your brain. If you don't know how to critically think, they will really manipulate your way of thinking and they will think for you. They will teach you how to act and all this time you're just on autopilot. Make it make sense. Didn't they force you to do things against your will? Isn't that control of your body? That's not you controlling your body. That's them telling you what to do. So if anything, they are the ones who's in control of your body. But here they go telling you that if Trump becomes president, you won't have rights to your own body as a woman. Do you really believe that right there? When they forced us to do something before Biden and Harris administration, they promised they would not force anyone to do anything. As soon as they got in office, what happened? Yes. They mandated it. They forced everyone. I believe they sat at the round table and they said, how can we make them take this? And they said, ah, take away their money. Take away their freedom. Take away this. They will have to get it at that point. So come on now. What they did was wrong right there. If y'all cool with that, mm, then you part of the problem. Trump gave us a choice and Biden gave us a mandate. Hmm. Never forget that one. because I'm about to kill him with this one. Okay. So the next time the left wants to tell you Talk to that, him. hey, abortion is a right and you need to protect your medical freedoms. Remember that they took those freedoms away from men and women the second they got in office and there's nothing stopping them from doing it again. Word. Clock it. So lastly, again, I'm going to encourage you all to vote based on the facts and not feelings. Oh, he made me feel so bad when he said that. <laughs> okay, but they hurt your families when they sent all your tax dollars Whoa. overseas. 
Oh, it hurts my feelings when he acts like that. Okay, but it hurts all of us. When you see an administration failing their country that they were elected to represent. In which case, I'm gonna leave y'all with, hey mama, daddy, I made it. Hey. I don't know. Democrats ain't gonna be ready for this right here. And my baby girl Amaya is somewhere in here so we can all say, hey Amaya in unison, cause she's the real superstar, y'all. <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and let y'all get riled up and ready for Big T himself. Thank you guys for having me. I look forward to seeing you all. Hey, hey, hey. Shots fired. Shots fired. Listen, she came through with the whole fireworks. You understand what I'm saying? She came through with the opener and the closer. This is about to get real spicy. I can't really disagree with what she was saying. And if you disagree with what she was saying, then you are into your own feelings. You're not sticking to the facts. You're not being rational. You gotta be careful. Remember, critical thinking can take you a long and a far away. This way, this way you will never be manipulated on how you think. You will be in full control. I hope y'all keep your head on the swivel and don't allow the media to manipulate your way of thinking. Don't even allow me to tell you what to do or what to say. Go do your own research as we all should. You understand? You are in charge of your own due diligence. If you like reactions like this, consider hitting that like button definitely subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell go in the comments let me know your thoughts on this video let me know who you're voting for or let me know who you're considering voting for or what policies are most important to you 